How's it going everyone? It's Sam. Today I want to talk to you about five cryptos that are down 50% or more. And these are ones that I'm looking at. I'll tell you too why I think the market is falling. A really smart play you can make. Why there's actually been a decent amount of good news this week. And a crypto that has done something very poorly or had something go through very poorly. Uh, and it's not their price. It's something that they've been implementing here and it's not gone well, just so that you guys know, because I want to keep you up to date on news. And then also the five cryptos that I'm looking at and why I'm looking at them now. If you guys don't mind hitting the like button and subscribe button, I really appreciate that. Now, I realize that the market is very bloody red here today. A lot of cryptos down 10, 20%. Uh, looking at Bitcoin, we fell down to about 34500 last night, and now we're back up a little bit, about $1,000. But even if we look on the seven-day, it is pretty bad. We were almost at 43000 just a few days ago, and now all the way down at 35000 Now, I will tell you what I'm doing, what I think about the market towards the end, but we have a lot of fear in the market. Fear and greed index is 13. I honestly thought it would be down at 10 or 9, uh, just because... We were there less than a week ago, and it seems like people are a lot more scared now than they were just a few days ago, which makes sense because we're significantly lower. So why are we falling down now? Well, the major thing that everyone's pointing to is the Fed meeting next week. A lot of people are worried that they're going to raise interest rates. We've been having some negative economic data come out, so they're worried about what could happen if we start raising rates, and we're, we still have high jobless claims. We have... Uh, low GDP growth, and a lot of other issues that could come if that happens. So that all is happening. At the same time, we have pretty much record leverage in the market. I mean, we've come down a little bit because a lot of people got shaken out. So we came down one point or two points uh, from 0.22 to 0.21 essentially. And we fell significantly in price. I mean, I'm talking $5,000 in price just from that one point. And then we also have some people that are probably selling crypto because tax day is coming up. They're talking to their accountants about how much money they made last year. Talking about tax day, I did want to bring your attention to the link underneath the video, which is Choice. Choice allows you to invest in cryptos and stocks in retirement accounts. So you don't have to go try to buy some proxy like GBTC. You can actually buy Bitcoin and put it in your choice account. Now there's a link to them underneath the video. They do give you $50 when you sign up and start depositing. And I really like them. Uh, they have a lot of different cryptos that they offer. They also have something really cool. It's called Blinko, where you can actually get free cryptocurrency just by playing a game every day. So you get free sats every single day when you play that game. And they've given up to a million sats in the past, which is one one hundredth of a Bitcoin. That's for like a special event, but they consistently give you free funds for your retirement which I think is awesome. They just want you to be active in your retirement. So definitely check out the link underneath the video to that. But let's get on to some of the good news that's happened. So this is just from uh, just from two days ago. Last 24 hours in crypto, Instagram to allow NFT sales, Google created a blockchain division, El Salvador to offer Bitcoin backed loans, Twitter rolling out NFT verification, Charles Schwab open to crypto and New York City mayor to get paid in Bitcoin slash Ethereum. So there's been a lot of good news this week. We also have a couple other pieces of news. BlackRock, the world's biggest asset manager, has filed a blockchain ETF. We've also had El Salvador, which just bought the dip last night. <laughs> they had said that they didn't, they weren't able to buy the dip just a few days ago, but now they're buying 410 more Bitcoin. So we do have more good news, but the market's still falling. This happens sometimes, and a lot of it, I think, is due to that leverage. Right, there could be whales that are selling on the exchanges uh, without leverage. The market could still fall, but we're seeing a billion dollars liquidated over a few days. Now, I think there are some things that we have to look at, some cryptos you have to look at, and really frame your mind in the right way when we go through these dips. So, first of all, let's cover the crypto that's done pretty poorly over the last few days with the rollout of their decks. So, Cardano based decks. Sunday swap off to a rocky start. Users have complained that they have not received their tokens after swapping Cardano's ADA token for Sunday. Now, Sunday Swap's website says that the network is extremely congested at the moment. Swaps may fail or not go through until congestion decreases. Please be patient. So, some people are waiting a significant amount of time. I'm talking not just hours, but 10, 20 hours now for their tokens. Now, 
I think that this could just breeze over if they get this fixed. Uh, they said that there are going to be issues coming up to start. If they can get this fixed, it's no big deal. But this is not a very good start to their decks. Now, uh, surprisingly, they've held up pretty well. They're at $1.10 right now. Everything else is down significantly. Now, they had fallen down a lot before this. Now, they did fall down to about $0.93 cents last night, which was a great trade if you could buy it at that. But now they're at $1.10, and their DEX is still not working very well. So just wanted to bring that to your attention. Now, before we get into the top five cryptos, I think we need to get our mentality right right now. So a lot of people are fearful. I get that. A lot of people had money in here that they couldn't lose or that they, they needed soon, and they thought this was an easy trade. That's not the right way to think about this. You have to realize that the markets are extremely volatile. That's why you can make so much money because the markets are volatile people are playing short-term games long-term games and people are trying to do all different types of things and they are willing to push down the price to manipulate to manipulate the market and to squeak out leveraged traders so you have to look longer term and you have to keep some money on the sidelines that's why i talk about anchor protocol a lot i have a significant amount of money over there just staked then i have some money on the sidelines too but if you put money in here and we get back to all-time highs, you're gonna feel like a genius. So I would not worry about timing it exactly right. The important thing is to leverage into the market. I like to go a little bit heavier as we go down. So yesterday I bought heavier than I did a couple weeks ago when we were at 42,000, and I will buy heavier if we fall down to 30,000. So I think that's really important. But let's look at five different cryptos to buy, and five that I am watching pretty heavily. So first of all, we have Bitcoin. It It's not technically at 50% off now, pretty much at 50% off. It fell down to 50% off overnight last night. And it was almost exactly like within a few dollars of 50% off at three, 34,350. Uh, so I think, I think Bitcoin is obviously gonna lead the market. It's an easy one to throw out there, so I apologize for that. But I think that it is one of the highest quality. When we see all this adoption happening, a lot of it, is in the metaverse and then a lot of it is in bitcoin so bitcoin is going to be the first thing that rebounds bitcoin is the strongest thing when we fall down it's not going to fall as much as everything else of course there's going to be some outliers but you can see seven and a half percent down compared to 12 12 7.7 7, 16 so i think bitcoin is still a great place to put money and it's not going to make you like viciously rich over the next few years it's not going to give you a hundred percent or a hundred x gain but it is somewhere where you can put some money and it will probably two five ten x over the coming years so i think bitcoin is a great thing to put some money into and i always layer into it heavier than some of these other cryptos now i also think ethereum getting getting past the top two but i think ethereum is a great place to put some money to. It's down just about 50%. It fell down below 50% last night. With the transition to 2.0, a lot of people will be putting money in Ethereum. Now there will be some unlocked, but I think this is a nice trade be between now and when Ethereum 2.0 comes, I think is a nice little arbitrage play where you can get a good return. And a lot of people like to, a lot of big money likes to put money in Ethereum because of the fact that they won't push up the market so much uh, because it is a $300 billion market cap. So it is probably the second steadiest crypto out there and it still has the most total value locked. It's still where a lot of action happens in crypto land. Then moving down the list a little bit, I think you have to look at Solana. It's down over 60% from its highs. I put some money in it recently. I think this is one of those really good returns that has a lower risk still so it's gonna be the last one that has kind of a lower risk in my opinion but under a hundred dollars i think is a steal so we have not seen this in a while i mean solana pumped up really quickly last summer and we haven't seen it a hundred dollars since and it's it's really the second blockchain i think behind ethereum but it is the it's the second blockchain that people use and it has a ton of use cases that are coming up because it can actually perform cheap transactions. I've used it a handful of times, and I'm talking about less than a cent per transaction, which is amazing compared to Ethereum. Now I get annoyed if something happens on Ethereum and I can't use Solana. So I think Solana will jump back up in price. Now, of course, there's a lot of VC money, and 
I should have said this at the beginning. I'm not going to be able to cover everyone's favorite crypto on here. Like I could point out a few things uh, good and bad about all these cryptocurrencies, but I'm just covering the best risk to reward ratios in my opinion right now. So moving down the list, I could look at Terra, could look at Polkadot. I know, you know, if Polkadot gets to its all time high again and they give you that 12% interest, that's pretty nice. But let's keep on looking down the line. Polygon, not quite there, but I really like Polygon. It's not 50% though. But if we get down here, I think Phantom is a really good deal right now. Now, I apologize again because it's just short of 50% off, but I had to include it because of the fact that it's at a $5 billion market cap. And when you look at their total value locked, it's almost $10 billion. So it is almost at a half the market cap of their total value locked. If you look at anything else like, like Ethereum with 118 billion total value locked, it's around a $300 billion market cap. It's like three compared to Phantom, which is 0.5. If you look at other ones like Terra, going back here, Terra had about 18 billion and it's at about, not Terra USD, but Terra, it's at about $26 billion market cap. So I think Phantom is a little bit of a steal right now. It's trading at such a discount compared to the total value locked. Of course, it is not down as much as some of these other cryptos, but I still think you have to pay attention to it because if we come out of this really well, I think Phantom will skyrocket in price. And if you think about how it could just get to, let's say it could get to a $20 billion market cap and get to that 2X, 2X the market cap compared to the total value locked, that's a 4x from here. And then the last crypto that I want to cover is actually probably not even on this. It's probably on the next page here. So let's move over one VGX token. And I've talked about this a good amount, but they are the loyalty program for Voyager. I think that this is going to blow up over the next year and it's down significantly more than 50%. But this token moves up very quickly and it's very explosive like one person can talk about it and talk about it to their followers and it doubles now that's not the reason i like it i like it because of the fact that they are a loyalty program token so i would think that people would keep that because they want more interest they want they want money off rewards i don't even think about it as like i want to trade it i just buy it and hold it but I think a lot of people will still come into crypto. Now that's the one risk is if their if their growth slows down as a company, Voyagers, it's gonna hurt the token. Uh, I mean, it still fluctuates a lot in price now because it is down significantly, but people will hold on to it forever because it gives you a higher interest rate in your crypto rewards on their platform and it gives you money off and all that stuff. So it's great to hold even through a bear market, but I think that they will continue to grow at a very fast rate. More people will come into their app and then want this token to get more rewards and then they'll buy and it'll push up the price. So I really like that as the fifth crypto. Now overall, it's a pretty terrible day in crypto. I realize that it sucks, but we're gonna get through this. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna look back and wish we had bought more. Don't worry, all that stuff will be the case here. Just a question of when. Now, it really depends on the Fed meeting. That's why I'm still buying, but I'm not going crazy. I'm not breaking all the piggy banks, uh, trying to get cash out of different places. I'm just continuously adding a little bit more every time we fall down, and I'm buying some of these top names. Actually, I bought all these five cryptos in the last 24 hours. Now, I will continue to do this as we fall down, and you know, I think we're, you know, I think we're going to be okay. <laughs> I think we are going to be okay. We will get through this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for hitting the like and subscribe and checking out the link down below to Choice. It really does help out the channel and I think it will help you out too in terms of your taxes. You can trade without having to worry about capital gains and selling and trying to figure out what you'll have to pay in taxes. You can just sell and keep it in the account and then you'll be all set. Thank you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.